machine code is written. Uh, if, if I also want to know uh, how it's been considered uh, by the full chamber after, after the bill is passed, the, the final roll call or the final uh, constitutional vote taken on this bill is recorded in the computer. So at any time, uh, back in my office, in my district, in my uh, constituency, or uh, on the floor of the Senate, if a bill has passed, you can look up and find the date that it had final action and the name of each elected uh, member of the Senate and how they voted uh, for, against, or not present uh, on the day of the vote <coughs> on the legislation. They also have House vote. Can we click on that? Since a bill has to be considered by both chambers, both the Senate and the House, I can also look up uh, how the House voted on it to find the uh, recorded roll call vote of all the members of the Illinois House. Uh, after reviewing the bill and the discussion, uh, I can see how each of them voted. Uh, so if questions arise about what my colleague did, or, uh, and what's important to know is Almost all of, all of this information, except for the analysis, uh, is available not just to members of the Illinois General Assembly or the Senate, but to the general public. The only uh, proprietary information, or the only information held closely uh, by the legislature, is the analysis done by the uh, staff analysts that, that specifically speak to the what, what the opinion on the bill is. Uh, but I'll go. Yeah. Oh. And, Frequently, um, if I don't understand the analysis or I'm concerned about uh, how it was reviewed or whether the analyst did a good job, I can click on full text of the bill, which gives me the actual enrolled copy uh, of the legislation. Uh, the way we draft and write, um, we generally, the underlying section represents the changes to the Illinois law. Uh, and the rest of it is generally the body that's being inserted into. So the underlying section here is the operative or the, the effective part of the change that we're being, that's being considered. Yeah. Oh, and in the case of additional language, it's underlined. In the case of eliminating part of a law, uh, it would be crossed through so that any member of the public or any member of the legislature could understand precisely what the bill does. We, it's done in pretty clear language with strike throughs for removals and underlining for additional uh, language or effectiveness. 